Hi, welcome to Parametric House. In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can make a new series of uh, frames on a curve. Uh, so if I go to the curve uh, menu, you can see that we have in the division two set of uh, planes. Uh, one is horizontal frame and another one is perpendicular frame. And as you can see here, I have produced both of them on a curve by simply giving it to the curve inputs and also defining the number of division. Uh, but what if we want to make a rectangle on these planes but in this direction for example so actually we need a plane in this direction uh, the x direction is going to be the tangent at the curve and uh, the second one can be the z direction or the second uh, vector we have here so to do that what i want to do here is to go to the vector and plane and use construct plane to make a plane so now we need to also define the origin of the plane. Uh, we can do that by going to the curve and using this division, divide curve. Just simply divide the curve into the number of count we need. This is going to give us the point. And here we have the tangent, so we can give that to the x-axis. You can see it here. By default, it's going to give you this uh, uh, plane, which is going to be similar to the horizontal frame show you here but what we want to do here is to give it a z direction so if I just give this a z direction now I have a series of planes which I can uh, make a series of rectangles on it uh, maybe you can use that for a fence or a facade uh, so just go to the curve primitive and let's use this rectangle give it to the plane you can see that we can make that and to make the size we can simply go to the math use the construct domain give it to the x because we want to define a size uh, I'm going to say for example 3.4 uh, we have to make it from minus x divided by 2 to x divided by 2 to make it the same length we want here so uh, just give that to the input the input is going to be x divided minus x divided by 2 to x divided by 2 and that's how you can make the length uh, for the height because we want to start from the curve we don't need a minus so we just give that to the y and it's going to start from the curve and now you can see how easy it is. I'll just increase that uh, to produce those rectangles. We can just give a surface to that. And now by increasing the number here, the width and the height, I can actually produce that on any curve. So that is going to help you to uh, produce these uh, rectangles easily by producing a new set of plane, which is uh, on the tangent and the z direction. I hope this tutorial is useful. Uh, remember to 